we are going to discuss four year series problem in the interval minus pi to plus pi so let us consider the problem f of x is equal to x sin x between the limits minus pi to pi so when you come across with the interval minus pi to plus pi always you discuss about the even and odd of the given function so the given function x is an odd function and sin x is also an odd function odd into odd an even function therefore x sin x is an even function so for that one bn is 0 a naught a n exist so we have to find out a naught a naught is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx so that is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi x sin x dx but this is an even function therefore you can write it as 2 by pi integral 0 to pi x sin x dx ok so that is nothing but 2 by pi integral of this one x into sin integration minus cos x minus x differentiation 1 again minus as usual cos x integration is sin x between the limit 0 to pi that is 2 by pi into you substitute the upper limit pi therefore minus pi cos pi pi you substitute in sin it will be 0 minus if you substitute 0 here this will be 0 0 into something in sin it is also 0 therefore it will be like this therefore pi pi will get cancelled therefore you left with minus 2 cos pi cos 180 is minus 1 therefore minus 2 into minus 1 a0 is 2 similarly a n a n is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x cos n x dx 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi function f of x is x sin x cos n x dx that is x sin x is an even function this is an even function cos n x is also even function therefore even into even so entire one is an even function even function between the limits minus pi to pi can be written as 2 integral 0 to pi 2 integral 0 to pi already 1 by pi is there that's why I have written pi x sin x cos n x dx that is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to, to pi x into this 2 I am moving to the inside therefore 2 sin x cos n x dx this is in the form of 2 sin a cos b that is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to pi x into sin a plus b plus sin a minus b into dx therefore 1 by pi integral 0 to pi x sin 1 plus n into x dx similarly 1 by pi x sin 1 minus a n into x dx if you integrate the first one 1 by pi x integral of sin minus cos 1 plus n into x by 1 plus n x differentiation 1 minus as usual cos integration is sin 1 plus n into x by 1 plus n whole square between them 0 to pi similarly integrate this one 1 by pi x into minus cos 1 minus n into x by 1 minus n x differentiation is 1 minus as usual cos integration sin 1 minus n into x by 1 minus n whole square between the limit 0 to pi now if you substitute pi here minus pi cos 1 plus n into pi by 1 plus n sin pi 1 plus n into pi is 0 0 now if you substitute the lower limit 0 into something 0 here also 0 now we substitute the pi here 1 by pi into minus pi cos 1 minus in, into pi by 1 minus n if you substitute pi here 0 now you go for the lower limit 0 into something 0 here also 0 therefore pi pi will get cancelled we left with minus 1 minus 1 into cos 1 plus n into pi cos n pi is minus 1 power n 1 plus n into pi is minus 1 power n plus 1 by n plus 1 similarly if you say minus pi this pi pi will get cancelled so what you left with here is here it is cos n minus 1 cos 
cos of minus theta is cos theta. Therefore, for our notation, I am writing is the denominator as one minus n as n minus one. One minus n as n minus one. Then you come across one minus negative sign. Negative negative will get cancelled. Therefore, denominator is n minus one. Here, cos of minus theta is cos theta. Therefore, minus one whole power n minus one. So, if you simplify this one, you are going to get it as two two into minus one whole power n plus one by n square minus one. This is the a n value. B n is zero. R. Now we substitute in the Fourier expansion. A naught. A naught is two. Two by two one. Sigma n is equal to one to infinity. Two into minus one power n plus one by n square minus one. This is the a n value. Again we have to write cos n x also. Okay. Cos n x. Here we have to write the cos n x. I didn't write the cos n x, but it is there. Cos n x. If you consider for n is equal to one, one minus one zero infinity. Anything by zero is infinity. If n is equal to one, this is not defined. Therefore, consider this as a separate case and find out the a n value. Therefore, a one, a n is equal. This is the generalized formula. Therefore, one by pi integral minus pi two pi x sine x cos n x. In place of n, I have written one. N is equal to one. Therefore, this entire one is an even function. You can write it as two integral zero to pi. Therefore, two integral zero to pi x sine x cos x dx. That is nothing but two move to the inside. One by pi integral zero to pi x into two sine x cos x dx. This you can write as sine two x. One by pi integral zero to pi x sine two x dx. Now integrate this one. One by pi x into minus cos two x by two. X differentiation one minus as usual cos integration is sine two x by four between the limit zero to pi. Now if you simplify this one one by pi into now we substitute pi here cos two pi it is one three sixty is one so minus pi by two left with if you substitute pi here pi here it is zero next if you substitute zero zero and something zero Here also zero. Therefore, you left with like this. Therefore, pi pi will get cancelled. Left with minus half. A one. This is not a n. A one is equal to minus half. Therefore, x sine x can be written as one minus half cos x. A one cos n x. A one stands for minus half cos n x. N is equal to one. Therefore, cos x. Plus sigma n is equal to two to infinity, two into minus one whole power n plus one by n square minus one into cos n x. If we expand this one, one minus half cos x minus two third cos n x plus two by eight cos three x plus one. Now if we substitute in place of x is equal to pi by two, pi by two sine pi by two left hand side. If you substitute in place of x pi by two, you will get like this. So, if you simplify, you are going to get it as sine pi by two one. Therefore, pi by two is equal to one plus two by one into three minus two by three into five so on. Now this one you move to the left hand side. Therefore, pi by two minus one is equal to two by one third minus two by three into five plus two by five into seven so on. So that is nothing but this two. Take it common and move to the left hand side. So therefore, you left with the one by one into three minus one by three into five plus so on is equal to one by two into pi by two minus one. That is nothing but pi minus two by four is equal to this much. This is the way of solving the problems. Thank you.